Hong Kong, it's one of the world's most densely populated cities. For social distancing, it's not ideal, but for those who feel worried, there are options. I'm only half an hour bus ride out of the city centre, and it's beautiful. This place is called Dragon's Back, and it's got its name from the hills I'm climbing on. It's a 20-minute walk uphill. Fairly heavy going, but once you get to the top, the view is stunning. You can see for miles up here. So down there is the tiny village of Sheko. If you look over there, through the gap in the mountains, you can see the tall skyscrapers of Kowloon. And just further down there is Big Wave Bay. Hong Kong's famous for its skyscrapers, but it's got more than 100 beaches covering 450 miles of coastline. Big Wave Bay is one of the popular stretches. People swim and surf here, though the waters aren't exactly crystal clear. So this is an app called Global Alert. Its users plant a red flag every time they see large amounts of rubbish near the sea. This is Big Wave Bay here. As you can see, there's a lot of red dots just around the corner. But there's hope in the form of this woman. So good morning, day two of the Atlantic Kingdom Challenge. Several years ago, Esther spotted the problem as she was running and climbing around the island with her husband. During our uh, expedition, we mapped all the trash that we saw on the way. And we mapped in total 163 trash sites. So it's very frustrating. We felt we need to take action. Mm -hmm. And so the idea came to do uh, the challenge, an adventure cleanup challenge. People can sign up. Uh, form a team and make a difference, basically. The Adventure Cleanup Challenge pits teams against each other to see who can get rid of the largest amount of waste. Sponsors donate prizes for the winners. So we have a team of rock climbers. We gave them the most um, difficult sites right. where it's cliffs involved, um, uh, much more remote to get to, um, challenging in a, in a rock climber's sort of perspective. Fantastic, that's perfect. Yeah, no, it's, it's really great to see how they're also coming up with creative solutions to get everything out. We sort of picked the locations depending on what people... Their abilities. Uh, exactly, abilities. yeah, exactly, right. their physical abilities. So, for example, the team are on the location where you need to sort of hike into. Right. And it's got quite a bit of elevation. The team has a lot of trail runners. I went to see the problem for myself, so Esther and her co-founder, Sole, take me around the corner from Big Wave Bay to a nearby cove. We find all sorts of garbage here, from fridges to microwaves to air conditioners, you name it. Uh, it's filthy. You can see another thing that we just found today. Is this a gas canister? Exactly. This is for barbecues. Anything and everything you can just find here. so much styrofoam. It's actually springy under your foot. Exactly, yes, and actually styrofoam is, is our worst nightmare because um, it's not only the styrofoam that you can see on the surface, but if you start digging, it's so deep into the rock. Oh, wow. And the more you dig, the smaller the styrofoam becomes, which is obviously harder to collect. And it's also more dangerous because these little pieces, when they get to the sea, they get into wildlife and eat, they, you know, the fish can eat it or, or even contaminate the water. Since the challenge began, a total of more than 5,000 bin bags have been taken away, along with five tons of bulky waste. Today's competitors, Pasha Mama, a Spanish-speaking team, is busy on Lapsat One, which translates as rubbish beach. I'm gonna put on some gloves. So much oil, oh, plastic. Look at all the oil on this. Never seen so much styrofoam in my entire life. We can do the difference. Do you remember how many hours you spent on social media on your phone? <laughs> do you remember? Yeah. A lot of hours. Do you remember what you see, what you saw? No, but you will remember this day all of your life. Gosh, picking up the rubbish was the easy part. <sighs> This is hard work getting all this out. Yeah, uphill to take the bags is a really difficult job. 
and I think this is what is making more challenging to work in this beach. But what is really important in this case is to come with the support of the community because this is the beach and belongs to everybody. So we really need to get a clean and beautiful beach for the Hong Kong people. So you asked passing hikers to help you carry some bags out? Yeah, actually in the previous session, the, the hikers look at pulling up the bags and they were so supportive and they came to us and helping us. And it was really, really fruitful. In the end, the team from Pashamama removed 113 bags. Waters around Big Wave Bay are also looking tidier since the challenge, and Esther and Sole say they're now looking for ways of exporting this idea to other countries around the world.